boxing. Okay, good morning everybody. We had some good news today for us boxing fans. I didn't see this one coming. This one caught me a little bit off guard. I'd heard that there was some news floating about, but well, they made this fight quickly. Chris Eubank Jr. will take on Conor Ben in London. Slated for August the 8th. This is an interesting fight. <laughs> Obviously, there's, you know, the uh, the previous fight with their fathers. That is going to be a massive talking point. And, you know, this is just a very, very interesting event. I think it's going to be at 156. So, Eubank Jr. will be coming down. And Conor Ben will be going up. I never love it when a fighter has to drain so much, I'll be honest. Like, when they just look a bit malnourished and just look a little bit weaker so but i think chris eubank jr out of all the fighters he's one of the very few that keeps himself in supreme shape year in year out week in week out so i think if anybody can do the weight well he's definitely one of them Prey walks around but <laughs> Probably about 168 or something. He, he's just, you know, he doesn't have hardly any body fat, which is also another worry given what else can he lose. But that will be an interesting point too, you know. Um, obviously, like I said, the media is going to really have a field day with the rivalry. I remember those fights growing up as a kid. I wasn't as a heavier fan back then as I am now, but, you know, they, they lived in the memory. And... I hope they make an appearance at the press conference because that would be hilarious. Eubank Senior popping in there. Maybe they can uh, get some beef going between them. Spice it up a little bit because I don't think with the two sons, they really, not to my knowledge, had much of beef other than, you know, probably media trying to force them into having some kind of beef. But I could be wrong. I haven't really um, seen it though, to be honest with you. But, you know, nonetheless, I'm sure they will, you know, put that in place because there, there's going to be a lot of animosity probably building up based on their dads and you know in terms of the fight like it's kind of a win-win for Conor Ben I think personally I think Eubank Jr. has got far more pressure on him you know he's 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 fighting some guy that's two weights below him so no matter how good he is you, you'd, you'd be expected to beat him you've got all the advantages yes he's coming down himself and he's he's compromising his fitness a little bit but you would still I would still heavily favor Eubank Jr. because you know, it's just two weight divisions is a lot you know and you know they're both he's a more experienced fighter at this stage it's a it's a very dangerous fight for Conor Ben you know I think he will win lose or draw he'll be fine as long as he doesn't get completely iced out <laughs> in like round one which I can't see that happening, but and I think at some point it's inevitable that exchanges are going to happen. Which you know, let's talk about the fight briefly. I like to do these videos just as soon as the fight, a big fight gets made, just to get some early thoughts out. I'm probably going to watch quite a bit of tape on both of these guys just to pick up on any bad habits and what not, so I can do a little a, a bigger video closer to the time. But as of right now. When you have one man that's very aggressive and the other, well, they're both aggressive, but Eubank really enjoys an aggressive fighter to come to him and get in his zone. And he, he sits down on his punches and he throws some spiteful, mean, savage shots up close, you know, especially like the uppercut and those hooks, you know, the one what he destroyed Yildrum with. Um, and he's, he's caught other fighters in the past and Conor Ben is going to be in that zone, I would have thought. Perhaps he's going to have to be a bit more cautious because it's only inevitable and only a matter of time before, like I said, exchanges do happen. Ben's got his own power to, um, you know, put some hands on Eubank and that is where it's fascinating. Who can take whose punch? I think this fight will come down to personally. Don't really see this fight going 12. Um, I, like I said, I would heavily favor Eubank Jr. right now. Um, but you know, and, and both whoever wins this would probably be their best win, to be honest, in terms of name, unless I, I'm missing somebody. Uh, so, if if Conor Ben was to pull a, a victory out, it, I mean, this would catapult him. I would have thought into you know stardom. He's already on the verge of being a star. Obviously, he's a big ticket seller, and he's 
He's done great. He's really improved dramatically. I always do worry about how angry he is. <laughs> His training, like he always just seems so pissed off and I, I get that, it's a grind. It's a very hard job they have. Um, but, you know, that early and that young in his career, I think it's not good to see him so pissed off <laughs> all the time. But, you know, he'll come in absolutely tremendous shape, as will Chris Eubank Jr. We should get fireworks on the night. And, like I said, when you have a front-footed fighter like Ben, who's going to put it on you and try and throw some hard shots, especially that one-two. I mean, he's getting better and better, and he's, he's, his, you know, his footwork's getting a little bit better. He does make a lot of mistakes, a few defensive errors, and like I said, I want to watch a bit more film before I go too into detail on the fight breakdown. But Eubank's going to be waiting for him, and he's, there's going to be some savage exchanges that happen, I would have thought. And I think that's where the fight will probably be won and lost, in my opinion. I would expect Eubank Jr. to stop Nigel Ben probably in the mid rounds, maybe mid to late rounds, but listen, it's another it's another date for the us boxing fans to pencil in. August eighth, I'll be, you know, waiting for that one with intrigue. We're having a little bit of a dry spell right now, but we've had a fantastic year and you know boxing is flying as I keep saying. And here's another one for the calendar. So yeah, Chris Eubank Jr. versus Connor Ben, October eighth. Let me know what your thoughts are on this fight. Do you think the weight drain is a bit too much, you know, or do you think somebody like Chris Eubank Jr. should be able to do it okay based on his, his general walk around weight and his general sort of uh, attitude to the sport? Because I think that will help, but he doesn't have that much on him to lose. It's like I've said, it's, it's, it's always uncomfortable. I, watching De La Hoya against Pacquiao, that made me just look at him and think, oh man, like, there's no way you're going to win this fight. And he just looked, he looked dead. And it's dangerous, you know. Boxing's dangerous enough, but when you're doing that, it becomes even more dangerous. So, hopefully, you know, they do the weight right. I'm sure they will, they always do. But, anyway. Interesting fight. I'm excited about this. That is it for me. Early thoughts, kind of Ben versus... Chris Eubank Jr. Boxing on the Edge. Take care of yourself. Have a good day.